Push-ups on a parallel bars is an excellent exercise for your triceps, pectoral muscles, and for strengthening your shoulder griddle. Along with horizontal bars, this equipment is one of the most affordable. You can find them in every gym, on outdoor playgrounds, and some people even use them at home. In this video, we'll talk about what changes will happen to your body if you start doing push-ups on the parallel bars. So watch this video to the end, it's gonna be informative. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Let's talk about what muscles are working while you're doing push-ups on parallel bars. The main load is created by the back surface of your shoulder or triceps. The essence of the movement is to rise your body from lower position to the upper position by extending your arms at the elbows. It doesn't even matter whether we put our hands in properly or lean forward, your triceps works in any case. The large pectoral muscles act like synergistic muscles. The technique of performing push-ups on the bars can change in such a way that these muscles are included in the work to a greater or less extent. Since the chest and triceps work in pairs, the more chest is loaded, the less triceps is involved in the process, and vice versa. The pectoral muscles are bigger and stronger as they pull all the load on themselves. The function of the pectoral muscles is to bring shoulders in front of the body. Accordingly, in order to transfer the emphasis of the load from the triceps to the chest, the push-up technique shouldn't imply only exertion of the arms, but also the reduction of the shoulders from wide position to a narrow one. In addition to the above muscle groups, also get enough load anterior bundles of the deltoid muscles and ligaments of the shoulder joints. To perform the exercise, your shoulders should be absolutely stable, because they not only keep your weight, but also move, creating an additional load. And exactly because of high load on the shoulder ligaments, push-ups on the parallel bars are considered to be a bit traumatic exercise. That's why if you have injuries of shoulder joints, elbows or wrists, you better refrain from doing this exercise until you recover. While you are doing reps on parallel bars, you also include abs, your back, and numerous small muscles. If you bend your legs back, the biceps of the hips and buttocks work in static. Actually, we've already said enough about work of your muscles, so let's move on to the techniques of performing different variations of this exercise. Attention to triceps. In fact, this is classic version of push-ups on the parallel bars. Simply jump on it, grip palms to the body, and the distance between bars should be slightly wider than the shoulders. In the starting position on the top point, your body is positioned vertically, and you're holding on straight arms, elbows turned back. After taking breaths, go down as flexibility of your shoulders allows. Focus on the angle of 90 degrees at the elbows. During the movement, the elbows are turned back and pressed against the body. On exhalation, due to the extension of arms, rise up. If this exercise seems difficult to use, then straighten your elbows at the top point. But if you're an experienced athlete, then leave a small angle in the elbows so as not to take load off of the target muscles. Working on triceps muscles aim to perform from 10 to 15 reps in 3 or 4 sets. Go down slowly and go up quickly. As soon as it's easy for you, you can add weights. But don't hurry about it. If you overload, you can get injured. And so you'll have to postpone your trainings for a long time. In your workout program, these push-ups on your triceps you better put in the beginning. Additionally, you can do such exercises as stretching your arms in a tilt, reverse push-ups, push-ups with a narrow grip, or Hindu push-ups. So let's talk about push-ups aimed at pectoral muscles. In order to transfer part of the load on the pectoral muscles, we need to change the technique so that to bring shoulders together. To do this, firstly we'll spread our elbows slightly to the sides, and secondly we'll need to tilt our body forward. This exercise loads the lower part of your chest as much as possible. At lower point, your pectoral muscles stretch, which increases the amplitude of movement and consequently its effectiveness. But don't try to do this exercise on two wide bars. It can cause injuries. The best option for the distance between the crossbars is a little wider than your shoulders. Firstly, jump on the parallel bars, slightly turn your elbows to the sides and tilt the body forward, about 30 degrees. As you inhale, lower the body down, spreading your elbows to the sides. Never try to spread them too widely. You should feel a good stretch at the bottom of your chest. Your elbows should make an angle of 90 degrees. While exhaling, lift yourself to the starting position. As a top point, tighten your chest even more and hold it for 1-2 seconds. Just like in a case of triceps, do from 10 to 15 reps and 3 or 4 sets. When it becomes simple, then it's about time to master push-ups with weights. To make your trainings on parallel bars more effective, remember about the following rules. Don't bend your wrists. The grip should be tight and stable. And the same can be said about shoulder joints. Don't choose too wide parallel bars. It makes this exercise more traumatic than useful. Try to keep your spine as smooth as possible. Abdominal and back muscles help to stabilize the body. Do a warm-up before training. Rotate your shoulders, forearms and wrists. Pull the muscles. And move down slowly. Firstly, it requires more effort and accordingly loads the muscle more. And besides, it's more safe. Don't relax and don't sag in the shoulders at the bottom point. All phases of the movement should be under your control. 
push-ups on parallel bars, if done correctly, can give a powerful impetus to the growth of triceps and chest muscles. It develops flexibility of your shoulder girdle. It trains ligaments and increases the overall strength and endurance of the athlete. And the huge plus for your health will be training in the fresh air. Just work on yourself and the results won't take long to wait. Do you do push-ups in the parallel bars and how many reps can you do? Share your experience in the comments. Friends, we also recommend you to watch our other video, in which we talked about what changes will occur in your body if you give up sugar. It will appear on your screen as well as the link will be in the description of this video and in the first pinned comment. And thank you guys for watching this video to the end. If it was interesting, hit the like button and the bell to receive notifications. You'll find a lot more useful information on our channel. See you soon.